Welcome to Command of Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David, and today I'm going to talk about a very important topic. It's how to fight depression. Now, this, here's a disclaimer. This is not a quick fix. I don't have the answer for this, but um, because it's a very complex issue, and um, you know, a lot of people deal with this. Uh, but according to the Health Commission of Mental Health in Canada, the statistic and the uh, report that they did is that in any given year, one out of five Canadians experience a mental health or addiction problem. Okay, so 105, that's 7 million people in Canada every year suffer from some kind of uh, mental disorder. Okay. A major one is depression. Um, also, by the time Canadians reach 40 years of age, one out of two of them, so half of them, will have experienced a mental illness. Okay, so depression can be anything from just feeling down or it can be a serious chronic depression, okay, which can last for a lot of years even. Uh, Depression is a habit pattern, and it's something that uh, makes the brain find depressing and you know negative thoughts very easily. So it's not an easy, not an easy thing to fix. There you go. Okay. So the reason I did this video is because there's people on the channel that watch my videos, and they say, "See, with David, I, you know, how do you overcome depression?" And there's even uh, some people that I know that are dealing with it, with it right now. And I just want to do this because I personally have gone through depression and this is what works for me. And this is something that I hopefully can help you with. So uh, one simple solution um, and thing that would help is physical exercise. That's very obvious. So when you exercise, you have endorphins in your body, right? What endorphins do is the, it's called the feel good hormone. You guys familiar mm -hmm. with that? Okay. And what that does is it counteracts all those negative feelings that you feel when you feel depressed. Okay? There's also meditation and breathing exercises that you do. And I'm going to show you one of them and what I do um, that can help you out right away. So depression is usually a state of mind that is based in the past. That's the key. It's also a commonly comparative state of mind. You're comparing yourself to other people. You're comparing yourself to your, what you used to be. And a lot of it is based on, you know, I could have, should have, would have. How many of you guys are familiar with that? Okay, so I think every one of us has experienced that in our life. Now, um, the thing with depression is that you think so much about these things that actually makes you feel physically tired. It's an illusion of activity. What happens is you um, feel like you did something, but you didn't do anything. But these thoughts, negative thoughts that keep running around in your mind actually make you physically tired. And that's what uh, people who are depressed experience. They feel chronic fatigue and they can't even get out of bed because they're having this thing running around in their, in their, ba in their brains. So how do you get out of that mental state of being in the past? Okay, any ideas? What's the simplest way? You Action. need to be in the present. Mm -hmm. Where do you need to be in? Present. The present, okay. So, okay, that's good, but how do you do that, right? We always talk about be in the present, be present, but how do you do that, okay? So that's where martial arts uh, comes in. Let me do a demonstration. So let's say that he's gonna punch me, right? And I block it, okay? When do I block it, in the present, or in the past, or in the future? Present. present. In the present. Can I block his pa punch in the past? No. Can I block his punch in the future? No. No, if he punches, right? I have to block it in the present, in now. Let's say that I want to punch him. All right. So, boom. When did I punch him? I mean, punched him. Now. Yeah. Can I punch him in the past? No. Can I punch him in the future? No. Okay. This is a tricky one. <laughs> okay. Can I punch him in the future? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I can't. Let's, let's let's look at this. Okay. Can I punch him five seconds from now? Oh. Yeah. Now. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. I was okay. counting. I'm going to punch him five seconds from now. So one, two, three, four, five. But I just did another now. Yeah. Okay. All That's right. another now. All right. That's not five seconds from now. Yeah. Okay. So martial arts is one of those interesting things. It's unique. is because it forces you to be in the present. You can't make it work in the past or in the future. It has to be done in the present. You can't block. You can't punch if you're not in the present, okay? So that's one um, cool thing about martial arts. Adaptation technique that I use that combines breathing and chanting and thought control. It's something that I learned from Sikh meditation, okay? And that brings us into the present state. 
So if you guys would like to try this at home, um, you can follow me right now. So all you need to do right now is just close your eyes, okay? And then <coughs> put your hands on your stomach like this. And start breathing slowly in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now when you breathe in, now breathe in through your mouth and um, gasp like you go, <gasps> like you just saw something very amazing. <gasps> Like that. In Cantonese, we have the saying "wow," like that, right? So that's the that's the feeling. So you go, <gasps> and then when you breathe out, you go, "guru," <gasps> yeah, guru, <gasps> guru. <gasps> so nice and slow, guru, <gasps> guru. <gasps> and I want you to just focus on the sound of your voice and on the breathing. So don't judge anything, just observe, listen to the sound of your voice. thoughts or little thoughts? Little, little thoughts. Okay. And what did that happen? Were you thinking about the past or future? No. 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 Now. You were just experiencing now. And that's what now is. It's experience. It's your feelings. It's what you're hearing. What's your, what's your senses? Senses is now. You can't sense something, you know, right now. I mean, uh, unless it's now. Okay. So with that exercise, it's so simple, 30 seconds, we were able to breathe and we were able to bring ourselves in the present moment. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. So um, that's the cool thing about martial arts because we're combining the physical action with mental training and meditation for training your spirit, your mind, and your body at the same time. That's what's so cool. That's why I love martial arts. Because you can do all these things in one place. You don't have to go to a meditation center to do meditation. You don't have to go to the gym and to get in shape. And you don't have to go to some self-help class to you know, train your mind. You can do all everything at the same time. I never did that before. So just doing that, I literally was just focusing on my breathing and nothing else. So the moment I stopped, it was like, you know, my mind was just totally clear. So cool you can kind of do it whenever like even if you're driving or anything <coughs> like that just to kind of pull yourself out of whatever you're thinking and put yourself take control of your own mindset and just be wherever you want to be I would recommend closing my eyes all while I was driving yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really great because uh, for me I usually think about like what what to do in the future but when you do think about now it is clear like what you can do in the future if you definitely do think about what you want to do now it was good. <laughs> For me, I think it was, it was a little hard. I usually have like a million things running through my mind, but I think with practice uh, and really being intentional about it, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. And so if you're watching this video at home, I hope that helps you out. Uh, give this a try and then tell me how it works for you. Let me, let me know how it goes. Uh, so if you think that's going to help you out with your friends, share it with your friends, comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next lesson.